testing, testing. Okay. Oh shit! Wow, I uh, accidentally unplugged my microphone there for a bit. Okay. Um. Well, hello guys. Welcome back to another Crita live stream. I am your host Morgan Ozpin, and uh, today we're going to be continuing with making the wrestler we made last time. Um. This time I'm just just me myself and I. My, I distracted my sister because uh by. <laughs> By handing her the Nintendo Switch, and now she's just playing Pokemon at the other room. So, <laughs> uh, today we're just going to be coloring this guy, um, as well as probably doing some simple shading and maybe adding a, a, a background, uh, a background to it. Uh, it's not really necessary when I when it comes to 3D modeling, but I don't know. I want to make this look good, uh, especially to you guys since it's going to be being streamed. So yeah guys, let's uh, hop into drawing this person, shall we? Um, well, it's finished. Uh, it might be done, done by this stream. Get this over with, shall we? I'll get rid of the alpha channel here. You know, I've been keeping track of my my health lately um, because um, I noticed like when I was when I was freaking uh, commuting to to my campus the other day um, that you know when I was when I was uh, when I was riding home from, from college, I keep on noticing that I, I keep on feeling this this. This this rumbling on my chest, exactly my my stomach, uh, because I wasn't hungry at the time. I keep on on feeling this rumbling on my stomach, especially on the left side of my chest. My chest, I mean, not my, not my stomach. Um, yeah, I've been feeling this little rumbling on my on my chest, left side of my chest. And uh, I was kind of concerned about it because I kind of remembered from one of my anatomy classes that there are three kinds of heartbeats you can experience. Uh, the two common ones are lub and dub uh, sounds from your heart, uh, which which is pretty normal for your heart to make the the kind of heart sounds that your 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 heart makes. But then there's the murmuring. Uh, Heart uh, sound that's said to be like the, the third, the third uh, type of heartbeat you can experience, and and that is not normal. <laughs> I have to say, um, the way they paint the yeah, that's not normal. So I, I was kind of feeling that same uh, that that. But it should be that that same uh, type of heartbeat. So, and, and just to make sure, I, I looked it up online. Uh, what this what this is supposed to be? Um, I might do pull up chat on my other screen here. I looked up online. What 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 is this murmuring? What is this this rumbling sound that I'm having in my left side of my chest? Um, and it turns out, I think, I'm having... I have a high amount of cholesterol in my body. Uh, according to my own diagnosis, uh, this, this is not something official, it's just something I've, I've looked- I've just, I've just randomly looked up online. I seem to have like high cholesterol levels in my body. And this could lead, quite possibly, to... Um, to myocardial infarction, infarction, aka a heart attack, if I'm not careful, or arteriosclerosis, which is when I experience a blockage of fat in my arteries, which might possibly kill me. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm laughing, and I'm. And you know it's it's actually serious shit. I'm I, I'm 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 trying to research about because it's my body, it's my life. Um, 
but yeah, um, I've been trying to work out, uh, work out how to fix that. You know, and I've been trying to, um, I've been trying to keep my, my intake of fat a bit less. You know, uh, of course not that much because you know we still need fat to keep yourself energized during the day, but. I don't want too much fat to to be in my body, so I I've, I've been trying to keep my keep my food intake uh, analyzed and shit, and um, and I've also been trying to work out more. Um, just uh, just two days ago, I've actually ran. Um, 17 kilometers, I think. It's like the sweetest 70 kilometers I've, I've ever ran. Like, you guys have never worked out before? <laughs> you, you feel great whenever you, um, uh, whenever you, you do like a hard workout that you don't know if you could do in a while, but you do it. So yeah, I've been doing some workouts, I've been trying to keep track of my what I, what I, what I eat. <laughs> you know, I thought that things were going well until my my dad suddenly uh, invited us for his for for lunch because it's it's her it's his birthday. And, you know, I, I I didn't really talk to him about what I'm feeling because you know it's it's just not really based on anything. Uh, professional and any professional advice you know and then go to a doctor to see this but um I need to get good so yeah I, <laughs> I she invited, he invited me for dinner and my god, we, what we had for dinner, not dinner, I mean lunch. What we had for dinner was, oh my god, like the most oily food I've ever eaten. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with any Filipino cuisine, but if you've ever heard of crispy pata, it's like, it's not the best food, in my opinion, you can get from the Philippines, but it is also one of the most unhealthy ones because it's basically just... Basically, just I think pork, uh, fried pork, you know, um, fried fried pork, and most of the pork is just the skin. And if you guys are familiar with with skin, skin is just basically this is just straight up fat. And I'm like, oh my god, I I, I can't I can't be eating this right now. I need um give me some I don't know sinigang or something. I don't know if Sinigang is, is healthy for for your heart, but um, I don't know. It's it's a, it's a vegetable dish in the Philippines. I've been like trying to avoid eating as much oily food as much as possible. I guess I guess that I guess the uh, reason why am I eating this probably because I've been I've been going a lot out a lot more than than usual because. You guys don't know. I've been homeschooled for most of my time, um, and uh, I, I don't usually go out that often. Which means that my what I eat is usually is usually being controlled by my by my parents. They usually cook food for us. Uh, if not, they usually buy stuff for from one of our neighbors from one of our neighbors. My neighbors, <laughs> um, who um, sometimes uh, cook uh, homemade dishes for us, like sinigang, uh, sisig, um, and you know, just 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 some very natural food. Nothing filled with any trans fat, like in fast food. Um, but you know, when I got to college. You know, uh, the uh, 
the idea of eating home cooked meals is it's um it's barely an option now because you're always on the go. So you're so you know I'm always been eating at stuff like at fast food chains like Jollibee. Um, Jollibee, Chow King, and and uh, you know I, I I was I wasn't really mind very mindful of my diet at the start of my college years because you know it's you know fast food is still, still good you know <laughs> especially um, especially uh, ever since I've figured out that Chow King exists and you can get this show my this um. Show my uh, rice bowl with fried rice and some soy sauce. It's like, oh yeah, that's. Give me more of that, please. And um, and it's only when I I started to notice that this is bad for me that I'm like, oh okay, I need to I need to do something about this. So um, instead of going to fast foods, uh, I've been trying to now instead. No, uh, if I'm ever gonna go to my campus and eat eat out, I'm gonna. I would usually just go to a Carinderia instead. A Carinderia is basically just uh, a Filipino diner, dining establishment, a local dining establishment in the Philippines. Like, God, you guys, you Westerners have your American diners. We have Carinderias, which is. Uh, the place where you can get home cooked meals uh, for a relatively cheap price, I would say. Like, I don't think I've ever I've ever eaten a meal that's above that's above two dollars. You know, um, and it's a very stacked meal as well. You know, we can get we can get egg, we can get egg, uh, uh, tocino, which basically just uh, marinated fried beef and rice for just and water, a glass of water for just I don't know, bare, like like two dollars, around two dollars, you know. Uh, in 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 pesos, that's around like a hundred and five, I think. Uh, barely over two dollars, but it's it's still relatively cheap for for what you get. Um. You can even like get free sabao if you want, free, uh, free broth soup. Um, and those are good. Want to give it? Put a little bit of uh of umami into your, into your rice. Anyway, uh, I need to get this, get this finished. I've also been working out more. I've been I've been running. Um, I never really understood what leg day means <laughs> uh, for for everyone. Uh, you know, for for my gym for my gym bros out there. I don't know what leg day is, but I think I think uh, when I wait, whenever I hear someone say they skip leg day, I'm like, what are you talking about? Are you talking about like running and shit? Because Cause um, cause it's actually natural for me to just pick uh, running over I don't know lifting weights and shit. <coughs> uh, cause I don't know. It's like I I feel like running running uh running six k is I think easier than lifting weights in my opinion. Cause it just really just working out one one muscle. And uh, that's beneficial for me, I guess, because not only are you building up your leg muscles, you're also burning a lot of fat, which is what's ideal for me, I guess. By the way, I don't don't take my don't take my health advice for as, as gospel, because um, yeah, I I am in the even though I'm 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 in studying medical. A medical degree right now. I'm 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 basically studying to become a dentist and not a nutritionist. So <laughs> uh, keep that in mind, guys. I'm I'm just your average streamer painting stuff in the internet. You don't you don't give it. You don't take advice with from people like like those. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's great. <laughs> um, 
especially when you go to when you when you when you, when you establish a route that you that, that's genuinely genuinely beautiful. Um, I don't know if I want to name some some routes that I, I like to run, run around because I, I do want to visit this, these places again but um, I guess I'm talking about one uh, there was there, I, me and my family used to run at this at this place um, in Laguna uh, it's called Duvali and it's like the most the most nicest place that you can ever uh, work out on because the, the I don't know, like uh, the, the place is 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 basically planned from from the plants that are that exist there to the buildings. The buildings are very nice there as well, um, and the, the air is very smells nice there. <laughs> um, the only problem I have with the volley is that there's base bar barely any shade for you to run under. I mean that yeah, by the time you 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 stop uh, you 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 do your morning workout in the volley, you're basically sunburnt <laughs> if you're not careful. I feel like my my skin tone dropped uh, dropped a uh, drop in value by a few uh, numbers <laughs> just by uh, running around the volley. You know, you get you really get like a permanent tan once you run. In the Bali, if you're running there in the afternoon, if you run there in the early in the morning, I think it's a pretty good place to to go ahead and run around. Um. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so we got this uh, wrestler painted up. I don't know if I chose the right colors for this. Um. Okay, let's uh, start off with uh, shading this guy. And we can go ahead and um, let's use a purple or a yeah, go with purple. Put a purple shadow. All right. There we go. All right. Never really understood how shadows work. Like, like uh, when I when I look at other artists' way of shading, I'm like, how do they? How do you estimate where you place your shadows and stuff? It's <laughs> sometimes difficult. You no, know, where your shadows. Uh, and I guess, I guess only if we practice that you, you figure out how uh, shadows. All right, let me do this. A bit uh, hard edged. All right, I'm. I'm gonna have to send this up that. Yep, here. Also paint this part as well. Alright. <laughs> um Okay. Dang, you guys are popping. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh. Anyways, what am I talking about now? Oh yeah, Nivali. Well, that's a pretty nice place to visit. Um. It might possibly be a good tourist attraction in the future. Alright, where do I put this now? I'm just gonna put a shadow here as well. I 
So this can multiply just to make sure that. Yeah, uh. Hold on, I think I need a. Hmm. Well, let me exper experiment with different colors here. Uh. So hard. It's hard to figure out which shadows work best with, with the, the colors you pick. to put any soft shadows into this. Not a rule in the style that I'm going for. I should erase this shit. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about Nintendo Switch. Um, so, if you don't know, I have a Nintendo Switch. I currently own a Nintendo Switch, like, in the, ever since, I think, 2022, I think? Sure. Um, yeah, I, at least I know it's like after Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was released because the Nintendo Switch came pre-packaged with Mario Kart 8. It was cool. Um, but um, I started to realize that the Switch slowly start, started to degrade over time. Um, so the first the first thing that got broken with the switch was the the joy cons like their I noticed that their their battery started draining very fast um, more more time I use I use it and then um, and then after a while some of the buttons started not working anymore. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Is this what they call the Joy-Con drift? People's been talking about in the internet. And I thought the, the problems will, will, uh, will end there, so I've... I decided to buy myself a... A new Joy-Con. <laughs> a new pair of Joy-Cons for that Switch. Then the... But then, all of a sudden... You now I have a bunch of these uh, Joy-Con... Uh, Joy Cons with me. Now I was like, yo, we should probably, you know, uh, probably put up a a kind of device that sort of lets you charge multiple Joy Cons at once using the the, the portable dock of Nintendo Switch. So. I brought one of those uh, third-party uh, charging extenders, I think. Um, like, cool, okay, we got these charging ports uh, set up. But then all of a sudden, like, my, 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 the original charging port only, like, freaking broke down for some reason, and it just couldn't... Uh, input as much uh, watt wattage into the Nintendo Switch, and that was a uh, that was a 
Well, that, was, that was a bad luck for me because... Because uh, in order for the Switch to display on on the TV, it needed to actually reach a certain amount of wattage being charged into the Switch. Like, this sucks. <laughs> um, so, okay, now I have to buy a new portable dock. Um, I got one for... I got one in Zada, which is this online freaking uh, place you can buy some stuff here in the Philippines. I was like, okay, this, this, this has to be like the only thing I need to fix from then on, right? But they were, but uh, but then like freaking the freaking then all of a sudden like out of nowhere my my the, the screen that was like the the S Nintendo Switch screen suddenly broke down as well and I'm like but what the fuck's happening now it's like um it happens during like one one camping trip with my with my freaking uh freaking brothers and sisters I decided to hand hand them for like a few minutes the the Nintendo switch and then they came back to me saying oh uh yo Morgan this switch it's not displaying anything I'm like what the fuck and I, I was scared at first because it I thought the um I thought that the screen that the, the, the Nintendo switch was broken for good but we came back uh, to the house and on the switch it turns out it's it's not the switch that's entirely broken it's just it's just a screen it's it's, it's ridiculous <laughs> um, so I decided to from then on it, this, this the screen is still broken because uh, I don't know you can't just buy a, another screen on <laughs> Lazada unless you're, you're willing to buy another Nintendo switch so now the switch is just stuck on TV mode. So I figure out how to fix this screen shit. Uh. Anyways, I'm I'm. Think <laughs> a broken device. I'm glad that my my stream hasn't crashed. Uh. Hasn't crashed so far. I mean, it's because I've recently uh, updated my, my my computer to Windows 11. I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, but if I do this, you can notice that uh, the window here is has rounded edges, meaning that I'm using Windows 11, baby. <laughs> um, I I think I made a little bit of a joke about it on Twitter on on Twitter. About how, <laughs> about how, about how Windows now looks like a straight up Apple computer. Uh, but uh, after looking at it for a bit, I'm like kind of impressed by some of the features that they have. Like, like the File Explorer finally has tabs, man. Like, um, I can finally instead of like uh, trying to to navigate my entire list of folders just to get from one tab to the next. Then all of a sudden you wanna instead go to this other other folder that's in a completely different directory. I can just like open another tab and I can just go one click. Uh, just press one button and that would suddenly be in another folder that's completely from a very different directory. And I'm like, yeah, that's... Why is this not a thing in, in, um, in Windows computers? I'm pretty sure it's a thing in Linux and, and Apple computers, but it's not... A Windows thing for some reason, uh, and also so far Windows 11 hasn't crashed on me, so I guess that's a plus. Though I heard that it's currently now consuming more power to my computer than ever before, so uh, uh, I think it's a give and take for me. When it comes to Windows phones. All right, let's just get this over with. Uh huh.
Now, I just hope that Windows 11 doesn't create another another Windows Windows version in the near future. I'm, I'm not saying like they're the small updates. I'm talking about like a big update, like I don't know, like a Windows 12 or something. Because uh, when I was trying to update my computer to Windows 11. I got. I think it crashed like twice just to <laughs> just to get this thing uh, started. And um, when it crashed, I thought that uh, I won't I wouldn't be able to install Windows 11. But oh yeah, it worked. Um, now I think if if, if ever they're gonna release a Windows 12, I might. I don't think it would be compatible with my computer anymore because it's a computer built for a Windows 10 uh, system. <laughs> Who knows what happened? All right, so this is the uh, the wrestler. Um, I know I'll put one here, I guess. Oh fuck, that's <laughs> wrong, wrong button, okay. Uh, oh wait. You know, remember when Windows Windows told everyone that Windows 10 was gonna be their last, um, uh, their last version? Me too, what the heck happened to that? <laughs> uh, what, what the heck happened to that announcement? Why is there now Windows 11 for some reason? I think I've heard from somewhere that Windows 10 was supposed to be their last version, but then they came out of the blue saying that, yo, Windows... Windows 11 is coming... Uh, coming with more features and stuff. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because... Um, <laughs> because uh, because uh, I, f I feel like Windows 10 could get outdated pretty quickly. Um, in the near future. Considering, like... How much our, how much you know, technology has progressed in just a few years. Like I didn't know like AI was gonna exist until, <laughs> until like all of a sudden in in, in twenty twenty three it just became a, a thing. Uh, here. Okay, I need to figure out what's the color of this. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess whenever, <laughs> I guess lesson learned, if you, you don't, uh, if you don't, if a company say that it's gonna be the last, last version that you'll ever have to worry about when it comes to their, s their systems and stuff, that's probably a, a big lie. <laughs> um, if, if they do say that's their last version, I, I, I think what they'll, 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 they'll probably find like a workaround on how to put a the next gen into their current hardware by I don't know by just maybe maybe by just um, getting maybe by just uh, doing like a shadow update and it, like for example if you're if you're still in a Windows 11 they might put they might put Windows 12 features. And they would never tell us about it, and like they'll, they'll still market it as Windows 11 or something. <laughs> That'd be something that that they would do. Anyway, let's uh, do this. All right. I don't like that. Hold on, let me try some let me try some shading techniques that I've I've kind of figured out on the way. 
I've been watching a lot of time lapses in uh, in in YouTube recently. There's this from this. There's one from one guy. I forgot his name. Um, but I commented on his on his uh, on his video once, telling him how I'm very impressed with the way he shades his characters. Uh, Well then, I think I'll, I'll try to search him up. I think this, this guy deserves a shout out because of how, of how how he was able to to um to shade his character in just like a matter of minutes or something. This guy named uh John Rakun. John Rakun is good though, but it's not that's not him. Uh, this guy. This guy. Drawing with the mouse, yeah. Drawing with the mouse has a pretty good uh, video of him just dating stuff. Gosh, how many views does this guy have? Still sixteen? What the fuck? Anyway, you can kind of see that he has sort of been making this guy. Um. Oh, you know, I don't want to spoil here. Hey, that, just look at the way he shades in just a matter of two minutes. I know it's like a time lapse. It probably sped up, but I mean, come on, this is impressive stuff. Anyway, I want to try to mimic that uh, <laughs> his way of shading, because um, I feel like that that works well with this with the comic book, the newspaper style that I'm going for here as well. Uh, so let's do that, shall we? Right. Okay, let's just draw some lines here and there. Hmm, I guess this is kind of like like the the alternative to creating midtones or shell shading. This could just probably just be their a shell shader's way of trying to create those midtones. I wanna try to make this in Blender, right? The kind of shading you need for this. <laughs> Alright, um, that's it. Good for one here as well. Oh, what the fuck? Alright. Oh, I kinda like this. Style of it. Wait. Why some other ways he uh Oh hello Isabella? What are you making? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I'm making a uh I'm making a wrestler. <laughs> I don't have 689. I I think you're you're looking at it wrongly. This is I currently have uh freaking I I don't know what I have, like a 698 <laughs> uh, subscribers right now. I mean, it's not like a major difference, but I'm, and I'm kind of happy with what I have so far. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I guess you are the only person here. Uh, for some reason. Uh, <laughs> I just tried to paint some, a few more stuff here. A few mid-tones. Hmm, that's sort of why I have only 689 subscribers. I don't know. <laughs> I guess people are into, not really into 3D modeling, which is the, uh, the, the, what's it called? 
the main focus of my channel. I don't usually do drawing streams like this. Uh, it's only when I decided to, you know, um, do what's it called? To stream myself making the concept art I made for for 3D modeling, I'm like, okay, we should probably uh, do some recordings of this. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, I wonder now. Uh, how, what are some other ways he sketches his? Oh, he also does. I guess those are half tones, I guess. Uh, wait. Go back here. I try to. Try to make some experiments with the shadow here. I don't, want to, I don't want to do any mid-tones because um, I'm trying to go for a cell shaded look, but let's try to mimic the the illusion of mid-tones by trying to, to change the shape of my shadows here. I kind of like the, the kind of raw and intense shadings of of um of the shell shading. Um and I, and I and I know I'm I notice that when I do mid tones something about it feels too realistic for me which is not what I'm going for. Right. Well, that's the shadow. All right, let's get this over with here. Oh, dang, I like that. That effect to it. I have to keep that in mind when I. <laughs> I'll probably do this more, this this type of shading more in the future when I make uh, make make more do the art, I guess. Hold on, let me uh, let me see what else this guy has. Also, does those intense? There's, there's a lot of black, I guess. Hmm. I don't know if I would like my blacks. Um, yeah, it deviates too much from the Calvin Arts, Calvin Hobbes art style, but I don't know. Okay, let me just make the crotch shadow here. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Right, okay. Try to experiment shadows here. Dang, all right. Got to like a brush here somewhere that, that automates the workflow I have here. Well, not bad. Uh, okay, let me just now do some shadows here. Right. 
Okay, so I guess uh, my philosophy here, I guess. You guys are interested is I think we're going for these line line like shadows because uh, I don't want to go for mid tones, but I do want the illusion of mid tones in my cell shading. Do that. I'm just picking like a few of these lines like this. I think the, I think the color palette of my guy is kind of helping this thing to stand out more. Uh, that should be. Okay. Do a few. Start from oh. here. Okay, there we go. And now let's just do this. White. Hmm. Now we need to make some pieces to this, guys. Uh, guys, uh, figure. So that changes to black and white. I don't want too much height. Very tight body, you know. I think I'll need to put in there.
that. That. Wait. Maybe like the stretch marks, I think. I do need to work on my cloth. My cloth. <laughs> Not the, the my cloths. Uh. Cloth deformations. This is unacceptable. I think. <laughs> Let's change the thickness of the power. Okay, I made it to... Ah, oh, fuck. Wrong button. Change to some of these. I think, uh, I think I'm overdoing some of these lines here. Okay, now, uh, All right, let's go back to shading. Get the normals here. Right. Okay, let's just do this. Alright. Okay. Uh, apply the multiply. I don't know. Okay. You know that saturation. Uh, oh, it looks good if I don't apply the <laughs> the what's it called the the line art. I say line art, but. I know it's a pretty much just simple lines. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Alright, uh, you need one more line right here. Let's uh, try to simulate the grease effect. That. And, uh,.
Alright, so we got this um, thing right here. We put into this. Alright, I might have to. We want the blender in a while. <laughs> uh, hold on. Okay, so we got that. And okay. what else can I put in? Oh, I don't think it's any down there. Alright, I think it's time to... What is this? Oh, it's the line, okay. <laughs> My original uh, sketch lines. <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna add a shadow layer here. Outer shadow layer. Alright, and this will just be... Uh, Bit of light going down here. We just uh, we'll, um, back to normal. All right. My shadow layer. So uh, let's just go ahead and mark this. Shadow. Wow, oh, this actually looks bad, actually. <laughs> here. Well, I think I need to make my brush bigger, I think. Yeah, okay. Then we have to go ahead and paint the backgrounds, which is, my god, that's gonna be hard. Alright. Well, let's keep it simple, because uh, this is just going to be fodder for what's supposed to be just concept art. Uh, let's try to paint a WWE ring in the background, so... Uh, first of all, change the back, change the brush here to... I don't know. This is a good brush. Try this brush. Uh, hold on. Up. And nothing is happening. What is what is this? Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. The wrong layer. Okay, this is the right layer. Okay. to make it brown. This. So, um, if you guys, if, if you guys never heard of seeing what a WWE ring looks like, uh, aside from you know the, the ring itself where they fight, there's of course the the stands where these guys freaking fight. Um, where, where, the, where the crowds, I mean, um, 
the crowds uh crowd set and these uh these these uh these these stands are usually they're usually like uh two stories high I think so you're gonna go to a WWE ring WWE event I mean um they're gonna be like two two floors where you can set you can either set on the on the floor where all the fighters are fighting will be in the same floor as where the WWE ring is but you can also sit on a higher balcony like you know in case you're not rich I think I think these are where the silver members or silver crowd is at no, they know they 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 three tiers to joining a competition like into viewing a event like WWE I got silver gold and the VIPs VIPs are pro of course gonna be next to the ring but uh, you know, if you're going for lower tiers, you're probably gonna sit over here, you know. <laughs> uh, all right. Hold on. Let me go ahead and paint this from. I need some. I need another color here for the ropes. Uh. I tell that I'm, I'm not a good, uh, a good background guy. Um, all right, I changed up my brushes here. Let's try. This looks pretty nice. Need to paint first the. Uh, background here let's paint it right I'll try red was the most popular wrestling show right now is probably gonna be WWE raw so try a red um I did make my lighting blue the simple maybe magenta we're good okay Now, I'm not really using the, the fill bucket here because I do want that texture to be the texture of the brush to be completely dominant here. Okay. Um. Okay. This. Switch this back to here. Okay. I think I need a bright red. I think I need a bright red for this. Uh, read the saturation by that much. This much. Yeah. Okay.
uh, I think I've noticed that uh, WDB main events are usually dark. A, a tad bit dark, you know, but you can at least notice that they're, when someone turns on like their cell phone lights or something, so uh, let's keep it like that, yeah. Right. Okay. I just noticed it didn't change my brush, fuck. Okay. Uh, you just let down. Right. Hmm. Strategy here is to probably paint the colors first. Got our. Our ring here set up. Right. Okay. Do one here as well. The ring post. And this is the ring ropes. Some racing here, I think. See guys where my <laughs> where my artistic abilities are at its limit now. Um okay. Uh, okay now this uh this now fence that sort of blocks some of these people from entering so put that here as well. I think this brush sucks. I think I'm gonna use this one. No, no. You change it up. Oh, this one. Good. Oh, it's a blender brush. Okay, wait. <laughs> um, that's not what I want. One. That's doing that shit. Okay.
I just, gotta, I just gotta make this work somehow. Um, okay, this is going to be now the crowd lights. So. This. 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 Ouch, my hand, oh god. Wait. Making, making progress here. Okay. Um, okay, let's go for now a black outline of these. This is gonna look good, but we find out. Okay, um, and change some of the colors here. Uh, filter, just the adjustment. Okay. 
But I, I think I just said change this to fly. Okay. Do some shadow work here. All right, there we go. I think. Oh my god. Uh. Huh. Okay. Can fix this up at some point. Uh, God, okay. But, anyways, I think this is probably the end, <laughs> the end of the live stream, I guess. Hold on. Let's see. How long have I been streaming, by the way? 24, right. Okay, um, okay guys, I think I'm gonna end the live stream here. Uh, quick. Uh, this is just, you know, just a way for me to test out uh, the background, how to make background art. I think I need to study that a bit, a bit more. Overall, I think I have finished uh, making the wrestler for today, guys. Um, I did say in the description that I was gonna do Blender if I'm early. If I finish early. But, uh, I, I figure I should probably just work on it. Uh, work on it, uh, off stream. Because I do wanna, f I do wanna focus on making the, the background, uh, let me just show you guys when I'm talking about, I'm just talking about it, uh, So I have a Blender project here, which is gonna, pro which, which, which pretty much just the 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 setup for my animation. This could just load, please. Come on. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> so, um, if I go here and I do this, okay. There, this probably just this is this what I've worked on so far. So, I already have like the opponent of the guy that I'll be making uh, right here. <laughs> okay, wait. This is, uh, okay, Blender's turned off, okay. Yeah, I have the, the, the guy made right here. Um, already. And I just need to just work on the, uh, the environment here just a bit more. Um, the one, the one problem that I think I'll have in the future is that I'll probably have a hard time 
painting the crowds. And not to mention that the, a, a wrestling ring is actually harder to... Really, a wrestling ring scene looks... It's a bit uh, harder to... To create than I would have originally imagined it to be, so... Especially these, uh, these, these corners right here, these, uh, these features right here, it's... I feel like it's gonna be hard to... To... To make them, as well as, oh my god, the... The fucking... Fucking crowds. Wait, how am I supposed to make the crowds? <laughs> to make them 3D models because... I don't know, I feel like 3D models is just the easy thing to do here. But... Uh, anyways, uh, I'll, I'll have to figure it out in the future. Uh, for now guys, thank you so much for watching. This is what we've created in Frida for today. Um, if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to be uh, sculpting this in the next screen, in the next stream. I guess that's gonna be what I'll be showing you guys for now when it comes to the wrestling wrestling scene. It's it's probably just I'm just going to show you guys how I make this wrestler because I've I pretty much already made the, the environment and the other wrestler uh, off stream so uh, it's just gonna be <laughs> what you guys gonna be seeing. Um, if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next live stream. Bye bye. Now go read a book.